a real good fish right now. See the creature inside this one here. What do I do with the Whoa! Oh, big barracuda. barracuda. A hole on the top of the shell, right there in that little, that little same spot. Then you can just reach underneath and pull it out. And bam, you got a big, big, badass, juicy conch like that. Wow. how gorgeous it is out here right now. Time to go get some sardines. It's the beginning of every mission. And uh, once we do that, we can go out to the back and try to get into some snappers and try to get into some bigger fish. So, aho! see birds diving at sardines in the distance but we couldn't get the boat near them so we hopped overboard and we're walking through the wave break of key chapel trying to sneak up on some of them lloyd's over here man in the net because oh right right here lloyd right here right here see him go yeah right right now right now right here right here That's what we're talking about. Enough sardines. Nice big ones too. Look at all of those sardines, so many. Still right here, there you go. Quite a 
few right there. Yeah. We'll be good once we get just a few more. Right here. <laughs> I was like, I think, I think they're still there. I was like, I think that's where they're at. Whew. Sardines. This one's a little bit stunned from the whole getting netted experience. He might come back. Oh yeah, look, maybe you can see him running it underneath my, my feet right here. You see the little fish running back and forth all over the place? Yeah, all around here, this nice on the beach. And uh, the Key Chapel cartel didn't come out here yeah. and murder us for uh, standing on their beach, so yeah. that's good, right? They say that uh, Madonna and Francis Ford Coppola run some kind of crime syndicate in Belize. They own all the keys. Yeah. This was holding the boat down while we were gone just to make sure that it didn't come loose and crash up on the beach or something like that. This little beautiful sea boat we're taking out, it's called the Starly. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah, look, they're all they're just running by us here now. We could have just sat in the boat and waited. Look at that bad house, little house. Come camp in that thing one night. Look at that, that's a nice big cock. It's got a pointy tip to it. Put my foot on it. Right there. Right, right there? Yeah. Right in between. That's a different kind, right? Yeah. Horse cock. Yeah. Big badass conch. Oh, oh! I cut him in half with the conch shell. Sorry, little buddy. That little fish was living inside the conch. Look at these big, beautiful, badass, shiny bottoms. There, there's some of the creature inside of this one. See, see the creature inside this one here. What do I do with the conch? I think the conch So these ones our horse conch. They got the slightly skinnier shell. I saw a few more of these down there, but they were super small. There was actually a lot more of these, of the tiny ones. I saw a couple of small other conchs, but like real smaller than my fist small. 
But um, you can see these ones don't have quite the spikes and quite the ridge. They're a little bit smoother. Uh, Lloyd says these ones make a better horn. Um, to make a horn, what you want to do is you cut this off in like a nice, clean, smooth uh, uh, section so that you can blow on it right there. So when you take the conch creature out of the shell, put a little chip like right here, and that messes up the horn and then just releases the creature. So what you got to do is you freeze the whole shell for a long enough period of time, right? You put the whole thing in the freezer? Yeah. yeah and then um, you'll be able to extract, extract the conch without having to put that chip in. So you can just cut it off nice and clean and make a horn out of it. But these are a little bit sandy and muddy. You can see as I, as I wipe on that, I pick up some silt. But that's all just sand and mud from sitting out in there. These shells are actually a beautiful, nice orange color like that. And we just got, um, I don't know, almost a dozen conch in a couple of minutes. Probably ten. Ten decent sized conch. I got three right here. What do you got over there? Seven? Uh, three, four, five, six, yeah. Nine. Nine. Nine big conch in just a couple of minutes. We're going to go do some drop fishing, try to get into some snappers try to get into a little bit of a fish fillet to add to the conch and it's going to be a fun little adventure. Don't go nowhere. Hit the little thumbs up, hit the little subscription thing and uh, give Lloyd a good uh, uh, aho. 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 in the water guys pretty excited about it Lloyd's already on to a nice nice silky that's a good one right yep. as far as the silk yep. goes yep this is a keeper right here beautiful plate that's snapper sad. oh that's a fish that's a fish that's a fish definitely a fish definitely a fish My first fish of the day because I didn't even catch any sardines in the net earlier and this is a great eating size way these snappers don't actually get too huge they get pretty good size but this guy right here is like a decent size one called a lane snapper or down here they call him a silk snapper and um real 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 good eating so going in the box what? This is gonna be my good omen fish. It's just a little mutton. We're gonna put it back, try to get a big mutton. And maybe it's this one right here. No, oh, and I missed it, jeez. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, oh yeah, baby, yeah. I like it when they fight a little. Nice mutton snapper. He's not the monster that I want, but he's definitely an eating fish. And we'll go ahead and call that a small redemption for the little one that, you know. Just a little silky. right now.
big stingray Lloyd just hooked up on it. Wild. Gotta be fun to get your rod bent like that though, right? Silky. Fish is not too happy about being caught, is it? <laughs> I find the one rock in the sand flat every time. Size fish. That's almost a fish I want to put out live right now and see if we catch a big one. But uh, well, well, you guys, the rain came in and we're just posted up inside of this little sail right now. Like Lloyd said, it's not perfect, but it's perfect enough. And the rain's running off of it and we're just kind of hanging out. Pretty badass, actually, that we have something. So, yes, here's sir. Lloyd holding the top of the sail. Shell paid, man. Shell paid. <laughs> he's our, he's our, uh, our pole, <laughs> our top pole. Yeah. And then we're just huddled over in here, trying to stay out of it. Yep. Working out. In a minute, we're gonna uh, clear these sardines off and fire up a little, uh, a little bubbler and. Um, make some beans and some rice and <laughs> we'll pull out someone's phone and we'll just watch a movie so yeah. we'll probably only be here a few days but <laughs> I think we're gonna make it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah great you guys are probably pretty over uh watching this already so as soon as we get to climb out of our purple cocoon and go back to fishing i'll uh holler at y'all again but look it's definitely raining out as long as it's not actively raining on us and too wet and windy and cold to throw a line in the water we're gonna throw a line in the water so let's throw some lines in the water feeling it I'm ready for it man <laughs> let's do this <laughs> Feeling it? Let's do this, man. <laughs> Ready to do some more fishing? Yeah. Lloyd, how about some more fishing? Yes, man. Aho. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, this is my Zen moment. This is my Zen moment. It's a little bit small for my zen moment, but it's okay. It's still good fish. There you go. Something got your fish? Whoa, whoa, big barracuda. Hopefully it doesn't cut your line. Whoa, Chris just got onto a big barracuda. That's pretty cool. I'm looking, nope, I don't have my gaff hook. Long. You gotta help 
and land it like Chris caught a little fish and he had it on and then a big barracuda slammed it as it was coming to the surface and it's looking like the way the barracuda's hooked up it's probably hooked in the nose right on the side of the mouth it doesn't have the um the line in its mouth so it didn't cut it off which is like a lucky hook set and You want to try to make a make a hook stick real quick? I have a big hook. I don't know. We don't really have a stick to, to wrap it on. So you guys, I don't know exactly what happened, but the audio cuts out right here because the audio on the camera cut out. But it was so windy and loud out there anyways that you couldn't really hear what was going on. But this is Lloyd grabbing the fish all awkwardly because we didn't have a gaff hook and him holding it all awkwardly because uh, Barracuda have super gnarly teeth and he doesn't want to set it down so that it doesn't thrash around too much until we can kind of get it a little more secured. Chris is going to grab it for a quick grip and grin. You can't really do a lip and grin with a barracuda because it'll just take your thumb off if you do. But look at that smile on his face. He's pretty stoked. Look at the smile on Lloyd's face too. Like Lloyd's hyped that we uh, that we managed to land that fish with no wire leader. Um, you can see Chris got a perfect, perfect hook set right there in the corner of the jaw. So the barracuda couldn't just cut right through it. Those barracuda's teeth will just go right through that fishing line without a wire leader there. But Look at the gnarly head on that barracuda. Like what a monster, monster fish just catch on like 10 pound test line on a little bait cast rod. Um, Lloyd's pretty stoked on it. He's gonna stand there and gloat for a minute with Chris's fish like he caught it. And uh, then we're gonna balk it and throw it in the box and get back into some other fishing. But, aho. Happy bird. Uh, Look how quickly this bird comes hauling ass in. Look at that, he went upside down for a second. Whew. Just to get a little chance at this little fish right here. You got it, bud, you got it? Boom, got it, swallowed it down so quick. Badass. See him, and then I just go like this. Change his whole demeanor. Start flying in. I'm just waving a little sardine around. Here comes the next one. Oh, it's gonna be a party out here. Like that. Big, big fish. That's a big snapper right there. Woo! Giving Chris a good pull. Is 
not stripping line though anymore, huh? Yeah. Are you still still quite a bit? He's under the rope. You're good as far as that goes. Just try to gain some leverage on him. It's a snapper. It's a real nice fish. Could be anything. Any type of uh, stingray. <laughs> I see some color down there. Does it hook easy? session out on the water. Lloyd caught that big stingray at our first stop and then uh, Chris caught that big barracuda and then Chris caught a big stingray and I caught some decent snappers. I caught a bunch of you know nothing nothing uh, to write home about but caught a few decent little snappers. We got some fish in the box. I got to pick up all the conks though so you know at least I picked up all the conks. Team, team effort dragging me around a little bit, throwing conks in the boat. Even though the weather was a little iffy, it was real nice to get out of one of my last days. Next week, it'll be me catching a steelhead. <laughs> oh, man. Look at how dope those sun rays just, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys we made it back to Peacocker Island feels pretty good to be settled a bit look how beautiful the sky is here it's all nice and white look there's some blue off there in the distance see the Sun coming out and just us deciding that we are gonna be done fishing for the day for the Sun to come back out and for it to get nice weather again so Lloyd's chuckling back there at that Put a little hole on the top of the shell right there in that little that little same spot. And that's right where the conch holds on. And you can just reach underneath and pull it out. And bam, you get a big, big badass juicy conch like that. Wow. Don't broke you. Put the hole. The huge this out there. Woo! Look at the size of that conch right there, you guys. And that's all its guts on that side. This big tongue piece right here and this piece right here. That's all the meat. And there's all the guts. That one's tough, right? Yes. Wild. What exactly is that? This? Yeah. This is a skunk spinal cord. We call it him, but he's a fisherman Viagra, conch skunk. You know? Conch spinal cord. Yes. And it's Rich. a fisherman's Viagra. Mm -hmm. 
blow up things. <laughs> well, you guys, you heard it here. Probably for the first time, if you eat fresh conch spinal cord, it's like a fisherman's Viagra. Yes, I. Aho. Oh.